Well, apparently Lindy and Miguel found out how little we'd been talking about them this season and really wanted to make up for them for that tonight. So I'm going to quickly run through our other three couples because really we've got basically nothing to say about them so that we can spend the majority of this video uh, basically bashing Miguel because that's kind of what I feel like doing. All right. A uh, little bit of rapid fire here. First up, Kristen and Nate. I uh, didn't like that whole Kristen saying she's most likely to end up with multiple divorces. Like, I get that she, she's just joking around and trying to have fun with things uh, and trying to play off of her past a little bit. I did just kind of just kind of sat weird with me. One thing that didn't sit weird with me, though, was... Kristen's impression of Mitch it was absolutely hilarious and also feel also appreciate that Mitch was a good sport about things and looked like he might have been laughing harder than anyone else Stasha and Nate I mean y'all know where I'm going with this conversation before it even starts and can we just not do the sex stuff with these two we don't need it it doesn't make the show better you know i like we were actually skipping through their scenes today because i don't need i don't need to know about what happens in the bedroom i don't need to know about their sex swing i don't need to know about vibrating panties i don't need any of that information in my life it doesn't make the show better doesn't make me want to watch the show more and uh the producers they've been stuffing this stuff down our throats all season long and at this point i'm just over it so from now on whenever it happens i will be skipping straight through that uh next we've got alexis and justin i guess they consummated the marriage that was really about all we all we have to say about uh, these two, Alexis wins biggest gossip. Uh, yep. Uh, also enjoyed Nate saying, like, just directly saying that she's the cause of Morgan and Ben's uh, divorce because, you know, I think that they eventually would have got divorced regardless, but she definitely expedited that process. Uh, I had a few other notes for them, but who cares? Let's get to the juicy part of this episode, and that is Lindy and Miguel. Is this marriage about to end over Miguel taking a picture? Look, Miguel, you set up this entire day for Lindy. And then all of a sudden, you're mad that she's going to ask you, has the audacity to ask you to take a picture of her? I don't care if you're laying down. I don't care if you're sound asleep. She's excited about this. You know, this is something that was very meaningful to her. And you just were an absolute a-hole about the entire thing. Like, we heard the exchange. Like, we heard... We heard what happened between them, and this whole time we've been we've been threatened with the dark side of Lindy, but it's actually going to be the dark side of Miguel that that leads to the end of this relationship. Um, you know, Miguel, just going to say this up front, there is a reason that all your relationships haven't worked out, and that reason is you. That reason is Miguel, and I'm, I'm positive that these same behaviors that he's exhibiting, especially on this episode, are the reason that all of his past relationships have failed. It's not the other person, Miguel. It is you. Um, th we, we heard the exchange, and the way that Miguel's tone changed was alarming to me like that that was very it was almost like evil for lack of a better word like he he switched gears and almost became a different different person and then they're just supposed to walk out and have prom like it's a totally normal and exciting evening uh 
you could just tell that Miguel had not left that argument in the past. And throughout the episode, you could see every time Miguel was on screen that he still wasn't over, over that argument or whatever you want to call that moment, photo gate, whatever. I don't, I don't even know. Like, think, like, just think about that. Think about having a relationship and it ending because you didn't want to take a picture of your partner while they were, they were, they were happy and excited about something. Like, just think about that. I don't care. Like, if he was in the shower, I don't care if he's sound asleep. I don't care if he was at work. You know, she's so excited about this moment. Take the damn picture. Get off your ass. Take the picture. Don't, you know, don't turn this into a whole thing. You know, this whole, whole blow up, this whole argument, this whole situation, whatever you want to call it, entirely manufactured by Miguel. And then Miguel has the audacity to tell Lindy that she gaslit him. Like Miguel, we all just watched Morgan's masterclass on gaslighting, and then you're trying to pull that over on us? Like, it's so hilarious. Like, it's, it's straight up comical. It's totally ridiculous. This man has the audacity to go in front of the cameras and say that Lindy gaslit him when we're watching the whole situation and he's gaslighting her. It is hilarious. Uh, and then Miguel said, you don't talk to me like that ever. And that was while they were at the prom. And, you know, Lindy wasn't even like, she was trying to be pretty reasonable with things. You know, maybe she wasn't totally clear about, you know, the moment and what she was feeling, what she felt. And Miguel, I, I don't know, he just, he just wanted to escalate that situation. And then he said, you don't talk to me like that ever. And the bottom line is Miguel just wants to hear what he wants to hear. And that's not the kind of person you want to be around. You know, we're not just talking about a marriage. We're not talking about a relationship. We're going further, friend, coworker, somebody that you pass in the street. You just don't want to be around that person because that behavior just leads to problems. That behavior leads to conflict, you know, leads to issues. And as we saw this episode, Miguel you know, Miguel fostered and grew all of those, and it uh, it just uh, was ridiculous. And then in the midst of all this, they win most likely to stay married. Like, it's almost like production just slid that one in there just for our viewing pleasure because the timing was perfection. Um, apparently, you can fix a relationship by just borrowing someone else's used sex swing. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. But once again, just to reiterate, completely over the sex stuff on this show, please stop it. Uh, Miguel doing his poetry rap while they were on the carriage ride was just a whole bizarre scene. You know, they're on this, this romantic, ride in the countryside on a beautiful carriage. Lindy is excited to see everything, share that experience with Miguel. And Miguel just wants to poetry rap and then is mad that Lindy's not paying attention to him. Like, yeah, of course, she's, she's trying to absorb this experience. She's trying to absorb the world around her and she's trying to get the most out of this carriage and you just want to rap about Icarus uh, and it just absolutely bizarre. Like I know I am one who will go on useless rants 
to their wife. I do it all the time. And I know that I'm going to talk about things that my wife just doesn't care about. It's just part of life. Like I'm, I all the nerdy things in my life. I'm still, I still tell my wife about them. I know she doesn't care. And also, if she get, if she gets distracted or doesn't listen to me, I don't get offended. Like because that is ridiculous. Like it's just not that important. Like, that's cool, Miguel, that you do poetry and that you pretend that you can rap, but please acknowledge that Lindy is just not going to care about those things. Like, she might give you some nods and some yes dears while you're doing those things, but it's not a deal breaker if she doesn't care about those things because we were all watching and we also didn't care. Like, I was way more interested in that rabbit you know, finding out what Miguel's favorite horse was, which he didn't answer, by the way. Uh, all the things Lindy was pointing out in that moment, I was way more interested in those than whatever was coming out of Miguel's mouth. Um, and at this point, I think that we are starting to see that Lindy needs to have, have her actual blow up. You know, we've been threatened with it all season long, and Lindy just needs to do it and see what happens. You know, she can't be in this relationship walking on eggshells while Miguel's around. It's just not healthy. You can't be in a relationship and not be yourself. You know, you can't be in a relationship and just try to be what the other person wants you to be because ultimately that is going to lead to resentment and that is going to lead to, to dessert. Why would I say dessert? Divorce. That was the word. You know, maybe not being yourself leads to dessert, but that would maybe be a conversation for a different video. Uh, so she's holding back to appease Miguel and that really just tells me that no matter what, these two are going to end up in divorce. If they say yes on decision day, someday down the line, they are going to end up in divorce. Um, and then we have that scene where Miguel refuses to give Lindy a hug. And, you know, Miguel very clearly is judging every word that comes out of Lindy's mouth. And... He's just, he's just high and mighty that coming across as I'm perfect, you're not, and uh, you have to do everything I want in the way I want or things aren't going to work. Well, guess what, Miguel? Things aren't going to work out between Lin you and Lindy because this is not healthy behavior. And to be such a jerk that you refuse your wife a hug in a moment of weakness and and like saying the saying things like you feel disconnected like that is extremely detrimental to the relationship and it's ridiculous that you can't you you the perfect man can't even see what you're doing in this moment what you that you can't see all the damage that you are causing to this relationship uh, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Lindy said, it looks like you're looking for a reason to not be with me. And she was absolutely dead on. Miguel has been doing this for weeks upon weeks now. And now he's finally got his ammunition to end the relationship on decision day. But he had to go out of his way to manufacture all of it. And then we kind of end the end the episode with Miguel being a pouty boy at Dodgeball, which just was kind of a cherry on top for this entire situation, you know, just to illuminate that he is the one that caused all of this. Um, lastly, so if every time Miguel has a bad day or a bad week at work, that he's he's going to treat Lindy like this for days on end. That is extremely unhealthy behavior. And Lindy, 
the sooner you can get out of this relationship, the better. Ultimately, I think Lindy needed to be paired with someone with a kind heart, someone willing to reach out that helping hand when she was having a moment of need, or at least be willing to learn alongside of Lindy because Miguel has not been that. And, uh, you know, honestly, I've said it before, Ben would have been better with any anyone on this season, maybe, maybe not Alexis, but if you had put Lindy and Ben as the pairing at the start of the season, I think that they would have had significantly more success together because one, uh, Ben wants to learn, he wants to be there to make his partner happy, and two, he's just not a jerk. And that is the kind of person that I think Lindy needs. That's the kind of person I think Lindy deserves. And hopefully after this whole show, she can move on with her life and find somebody who is going to be there for her, who is going to extend that compassionate hand in her moments of need. Because as we saw tonight, especially when Miguel directly refused to even hug Lindy, that he is not that person for her. And Miguel is going to have to do a lot of learning, a lot of soul searching before he is ready to have any sort of successful relationship. All right, everybody, that was that was pretty good, I think. You know, we got, got those couples, those three boring couples out of the way at the start, and then we hit it at the end with with the big Lindy and Miguel rant. We can, we can end the episode tonight with Bobby coming to visit. He's in the, in the spotlights, ready for his close-up. Uh, Bobby, do you remember, do you remember the line that we're supposed to say here at the very end? Yeah, that's what I'm out! <laughs>